I've characterized in a somewhat jovial way the way in which I think an on balance piece of good legislation was was sold to the Congress. Um, and uh, that's OK if, like me, you believe that on balance the Jobs Act is a good thing. But it's not OK, of course, as a procedural mechanism, because not everything that gets presented, and some of you will not share my opinion that the Jobs Act was a good thing, um, that's actually not a terribly good way uh, to legislate. So we need a lot more education of members of Congress. And institutions like this one can do, I think, a lot more to create nonpartisan, academically driven, but here's the key part, understandable ways to think about very technical topics. Um, one of the reasons I get invited to these conferences is because I may be one of the very few members of my 435 colleagues who actually enjoys diving into the details um, of, of, of you know, more esoteric and technical uh, financial regu uh, regulation. But there's remarkably little information provided to us on these issues. Hearings don't do it. Hearings are political events, and you can glean information in hearings. But more often than not, there are a little bit of a debate that has been set up by the leadership of the two parties to bring out uh, opposing views in a way that is not designed necessarily to get at reality, but to sort of establish a record that two years from now you can point to as a record. So we need a lot more uh, uh, education, not just of members of Congress, by the way, but of uh, the media. For too long, and still, as we think about financial regulation, as we think about Wall Street and Main Street, as we think about the banks and the investment banks and, and J.P. Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs, in my world, it's a morality play that roughly breaks down along partisan lines, uh, or it does break down along partisan lines. It's just against. It's a question of who gets to play God and who gets to play the devil. But here, you know, coming out of the disaster that we had in 2009, of course, are the Democrats saying that Dodd Frank is received uh, wisdom, you know, unalterable and unamendable. And here we have the Republicans on the other side saying this is satanic and terrible and horrible and it should be repealed in its entirety. Uh, and of course, that's the nature of the dialogue that all too often the media stokes. Uh, one of the things I try to do in Congress, and it's partly my background, is partly the place I represent to which financial services is very important. I try to find ways to carve out that question of what are the win-wins there? What is there not just to protect people, but will ultimately lead to lower cost or greater availability of capital? And that's very hard to do when the media and the information all out there falls into the morality play that defines the discussion that we have around financial services and regulation. So we need more education, both of members and, and the media, on, uh, on, on these topics.